Hello. In this video, I want to look how to use the images with Midjourney version 4, tips and tricks, some suggestions, and we'll look on some examples of this. Let's go ahead and first start looking what is how we can put it actually images in our string. And if you work with previous versions, it's about same. Only now it's supported in version 4 and support very, very well. So let's look what we have right here. You can see it command for us imagine. Next, we have it reference. We can put to image 1, image 2, and we have it also can put additional descriptions. We still cannot customize the aspect rate shows or weight on the images. But even with the, these preliminary um, options, it will develop great job. What I'm going to do, going over some examples first, and next we'll put it hands on to try and show in a life how you can do it, how you can import images, suggestion on importing images, suggestions on combining them. So let's go first look on some examples. And right here you can see you can very simple reference the images, put a descriptions, and then you have the results. So hear me with wearing Mugatti t-shirt, put it hey Zula and their parties, and that's what created. So the next one, let's look and we have combination of different images. You not necessarily can photo, you can also take images that you created with a mid journey, like one and second, and you want to combine. The reason why you want to, to do this, sometimes if you try to do this in a text line, it's become too complex. For example, right here we have a hahlama, bear, twisted fur, feathers, all the stuff, and below we have it, um, cyberpunk, porcelain skin, translucent, all those elements. And if I combine those together in one string, I will never have this result that what I achieved now. So take those two different text strings before created separate image of the style you like it. And after take those two images and combine in one. So this is one very powerful way to combine styles that usually you cannot do with your text string. So here's also with photo, you can take a photo of the person, same, we have this uh, cyberpunk porcelain screen, uh, porcelain skin person, and we can combine those together and we can achieve this result. You can see it's actually come very good expressions, uh, hairstyle, and we applied some of the skin. And uh, because we cannot specify which image should be prioritized, position for the image won't be um, like right here, this position first image, second image, it does not matter. And we cannot really specify the weight of the image. So you can put in any directions, but overall you can see it's 50-50. So it's take and combine them together to create one image. And I think this is quite a great result it was achieving based on this. Okay, so let's go ahead next. You can see another photos, different style, and look how the style, the best things, what I like about how Mid Journey perform, look on the dress and we can see green dress, but stylization of this cyberpunk, it's applied, same like a neck from neck, add some jewelry, lighting. I mean, it is very impressive on a way how Mid Journey take these two images and combine creating one new. Interesting note for you, because you're using image and if you're using your own image or some other ones, nobody else can create that image, even they take strings, everything, because the image I'm using, it's mine, it's copyrighted to me. So the people cannot take it and recreate this image exactly the same. So this is another way how you can create a help, maybe I want to say help make it copyrighted image without other people copywriting or uh, copying your style. So this is another way so you can actually secure your work. Okay. So right here, it's not necessary styles in a portrait. You also can have it environmental merge. For example, the same portrait as before. We have it cyberpunk environment and you can see actually AI without any text strings. I'll show you after just on reference to images. It's figure out and put it our person in environment where we have it. So obviously it's recognized. I don't see portrait here. So I want more merge portraits and I just take a scenery and put it inside. So this is just a few other examples on the portraits and you can see we have a portrait of a person, cyberpunk and actually very well aligned. And by the way, 
it's give it also different angles of the head so it's not always will give you the same what you produce which is actually even better same like before you can see applied with even same lighting and on the bottom i tried um see what's happening when i used my puppy and myself and it's horrifying result but you know you maybe can achieve better but i think it's kind of uh, forbidden mutation happened there okay so so but beside using two words you also can use it a description you can of course like in the first photo when i show you example it was me description result but you can achieve actually very good result just with simple word for example here i uploaded for my photo and after i just type zombie and that is the result and actually it's a very impressive result it does so it's used my photo and apply stylization of the zombie notice also position of the head it's add a headphone so i actually recognize quite a bit details it's very impressive how it's done beside specify type you can also specify emotions like for example in this case i tried create portrait and says give me angry look and it actually that very good job i did many different examples with angry happy smiling screaming and they all come up very good so in this case if you have a portrait and you can specify emotions it also will create for you and you can see it's actually keep it very close to original portrait of course it's add some additional lighting but overall emotions was representing very good and if you want to take more stylizations right here for example same portraits and it just says hey i want it to look like a disney princess so it's applied very interesting stylization um this is very interesting options because you actually can find your friends and says hey send me your picture it's actually i did for some people i said if you send me photo i can put you as a disney princess you have some online services we do exactly the same and they charge money um you don't necessarily need to charge money to your friend but you can nicely surprise them by taking and turn their faces their portraits in the disney characters or any other characters you want to do included like spongebob and some other characters okay but what if you don't have photos what if you want to create something simple like for example you try to create illustration book for kids or you try to do comic book or anything you may don't have it photos the interesting thing is that mid journey ai it's so smart you don't need to use it just photos example i'm like gone and create a simple sketch literally stick figures draw stick figures heal small trees save this and says well you know what what if i want to create a boy who's staying on a hill but i have no drawing skill then i got me journey to my rescue and what's happening i take the image i created add descriptions and here is a result you can see very close to what actually i done maybe hand a little bit not on a hip standing but i'm sure if we work around we can find some other way to create and this is with just very simple description so what I did it, I put it image in, right description, a young boy staying on a green hill. And I also add golden hour. And the surprise, it's add very good uh, lighting on a background. So all what you need to do, your simple, simple sketch, some descriptions, and it's help you to create. This is actually, some people may say it's not art, but I think it has given ability to the people who have it not drawing skill, or maybe they have it, handicap or some other ways to actually create illustrations that inside the head so you don't need to have it a perfect drawing skill you just have a simple reference for the ai how you want position how you want to your figures located or some other things included some other objects example right here i just drew the rocket launching in the space and it's what i type that's a result of course, I did not specify give me photorealistic or a cartoon or outline, cell shaded, just straightforward. But you can see how me journey already take my sketch, whatever I've done, and enhance this quite a bit. So let's go ahead right now and actually try to do something. I'll show how simple and easy you can do this. So you work in Discord, and my recommendation actually for you to open your channel if you work with a bot or other things and two windows. And the reason is why that we have 
in one window, I will have a just reference to my photos. So I just don't like scroll up and down. I like to get it, upload my photos in one place. And then next I can go in my window and just start typing and copy paste. So it just prevent me from going and constantly scrolling up and down on the window. So we'll go in one and we're going to upload right here on the bottom where you always type your message, you'll see plus sign. Click on a plus sign and we'll have it upload a file. So let's go click on that icon and we have it access to our file. You don't need to upload just one file. So you can actually click and select the multiple files as you need it. Um, you could still reference to images that you rendered before, but sometimes I like to re-upload them. So they kind of all like a group together for me. Okay, so we'll go select different files, your sketches, whatever you like it. Okay, let's go just select maybe a few more. When you're done with this, click open. And you notice right here, it's open on the bottom. If you are not uh, what they call nitro, whatever, you have it limited to eight um, megabyte. So you have it about eight megabyte. And if you're nitro, you have a little bit more space. But notice you can download it more than one image is what I like to do. When they select, just press enter and it will uploading those images. Okay, let's scroll down. And right here you can see this image is uploaded. You cannot just simple click on the image in the reference. You actually need to click on an image to open preview. And when it's preview, right click and going to copy image address. Don't copy image. Don't think uh, right click and copy from this area. You actually need to click on an image, right click and copy image address. This is what you needed. Next, why I like to do this because I can go in another window. Don't worry about finding those images, just go and start imagine. I'll put it one image inside reference. Don't worry if it's very long, it will take care of this. Next, I can go and find different. For example, let's just for fun, we'll click on this, right click, copy image address, go here, press space. You needed space between the two images, so one and two image. What we're doing right now, we take those two images and we combine in a style. And it's all what we need to do. So if we're going to press enter and you can see it's a start rendering. So as it's doing job, let's try something else. For example, we can try this, what I did right here. We'll have it from Photoshop models. So we'll right click, copy image address. Let's go type imagine. Okay. And oh, like probably easy if I just go right here and I'm just going click what I want to do. I shot, if you can see, this is kind of like retro, yes? And sometimes I do like a compositing works with this, but I decide, hey, let's AI try to do compositing, but I want to do in this retro comic book style. So I'm going and copy this image address. Let's go back here. We'll copy space and paste. Right there, there you go. Before, I press enter. I actually going to copy these two names because I want to show you how you can combine. And this is a tips, tip and trick kind of what you can do. Okay. So let's go make it also. Okay. Wow. Look on this. This is already rendered. It's our style. So our style was combining the cyber bank with nice lighting, the poses, and we combine with this porcelain gold white skin the result mix is literally stunning look on a hair lights neon lights in the back still have an umbrella holding in a hand but it's add porcelain skin and other so it, it's very very impressive okay right here we have it kind of coming our result but it's not necessarily a result i wanted and beside using just images reference. What is good? It's a help AI to see what you're looking after. So let's go try again this imagine and we'll take those two images. Remember I copied them before, but instead I will add to the end um, retro sci-fi comic book. Just add 
to help um, AI understand in which way actually I want stylize when the merging pictures. So let's go ahead, press and render this one. And as it's rendering, I'm going to upscale a couple of those because they actually look very, very nice. And best part of this, this image, if I render, nobody else, they can try to kind of clone from this, but they cannot replicate this because I was using my photo right here that I take what is copyrighted to me. Okay, so I took it all the stuff and I use it stylizations that Mid Journey created before when I was experimenting playing around. Let's go down below and see what is coming up. Okay, and look what is it different now. So this is what I created with this outfit. Actually, you know what? Let me even upscale this. Oops, I don't want version actually. I want upscale one, upscale two. Well, four and two. Let's upscale those ones. And as it's working, we already can see the different. So all what we did different from previous, we did use the same images, but we also tell me journey what style we wanted. So if it does not necessary your two images blending in together, be sure you add maybe extra descriptions to help kind of lead in a way you want to go with the mid journey. And right here, look on this. This is perfect. It's a retro sci-fi in a way I want it with a suit outfit about same poses, somewhat closer. Well, of course, the horrible, horrible hands someday, they probably will fix this, but there's our image. And this is bring us to this point where you have an image, reference image, maybe if you want stylizations, and you just add extra descriptions to create that image more fit so to fit a little bit more in your style. Okay, at this point, we have an image to image that you can create it on the uh, mid journey directly. You can also going to create your photo, personal photo, photo you took it, style that you enjoy creating on mid journey without any description, just take all those two images and merge them to create a very beautiful merge together. You can also well, the same different type of style. You can also change the background. And actually I'm working on some different things like with witches and other things, which is create great things, but you can extend the environment with your model when you do this. Um, you can a little bit more experiment, maybe between create some mutations if you want in this case. You also can use just simple sketches to create your own book illustrations, comics, maybe posters, whatever you want it. And you don't necessarily need to use a sketch. If you want it, you can simple collage of the images will work as well, even maybe better, but same with a simple sketch and descriptions, you can achieve this as well. As well, you can modify images based on the description of the environment of the person. Emotional um, state will change as well. You also can take and describe the stylizations not necessarily how it's look like Disney princess, but also you can do like Picasso, uh, impressionism and some other ones, which will apply to your image. And as we said before, combine images and descriptions all together. So I hope you find this video interesting to you. Give it some tips how to work with the new mid journey uh, version four and images integrated. If you have any questions, let me know, post a comment, subscribe, that will help. And one other things, just a small tip for you there on a YouTube if you're using, because some videos, they're instructionals. What is meaning you look on some tips, you're watching, you can't remember, but afterwards when you come back and you cannot find those videos, you have a hard time to find them. So the couple things you can do for them. one, if you're going, it's a video on my channel, you can go just on my channel, go to playlist and a playlist I have right here called um, AI creativity or AI art with 54 videos. So in these videos, in this playlist, in this playlist that I created specifically for AI generated artwork and related stuff, you find a lot of videos about how to properly work with a prompt, some tips and tricks, how to find another services, how to upscaler and do all of these different things with the AI related art. So go over in this video, find some video you maybe miss, maybe help you as well. Beside playlist, what I personally do this with videos that I like it. I'll go down under below video where it says save. You click on this and you'll notice right here have to watch later group and I add videos to my watch later at least. On this case, if I come back 
And I says, um, saw somewhere, but I don't remember this kind of nice techniques or some kind of tips that I can go there, find the video and watch this again. And this has helped me a lot with this instructional type of the videos. So thank you again for watching. If you like these videos, give thumb like, subscribe. Let's spread around that your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you and have a great day.